Hello fellow collectors, this is Jimmy Night Bros for Life. And I'm here with another video for y'all. This is our first Dragon Wings model. This is on the Canadian Air Force CC-150. Or, in other words, A310-300F. And, as you can see, you're probably looking at the model like... Why does it have like a cargo door and like windows and everything and that is because I guess they used them for both which is kind of a plus for us Ooh, sorry for that guys and yeah let's go to the box okay so right here have the box you can see dragon wings logo right there warbird series I guess that's warbird <clears throat> Warbird series is kind of like their Gemini Max, but like another name for it, like their Gemini Max. And you have 1400 uh, model scale, ready made die cast model. There goes the actual real image of the plane. Hilarious. Here's the bottom of the box. Basically, same thing. Got this for only 15 bucks. Here goes the side. Right there. Okay, you can pause if you would like to read that. This is a 2004 uh, release. Pause if you would like to read that. Okay, here goes the top of the box. That's gonna be the same thing. And right here, you have the 2D image, a fake, uh, you know, version of the model of the aircraft. Oh, that's sweet. It's supposed to be like flying over water or something. But I see they have like a little shadow right there. I don't know, but you know it's a little different from Gemini Jets. Can't have a look inside because it's not a Gemini Jets box. But I mean, I, I like the box. I like the color and you know the time that they put into it. Oh yeah, I forgot to show y'all the uh, the back. There's the back. Okay, know what that said. Let's go to the model. Okay, here's a model. So, we're going to start off, as always, with the cockpit. Right here. Have uh, the Canada sign. Uh, what does that say? 003. Right there. Have your nose gear, your passenger entry door, cargo door, right there, windows, oops, uh, then like right underneath here you got like a little bit of detail, and have your emergency at the door right there, another, Canada words, the signs. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. I'm trying to get a stable uh, position because I don't have a tri I'm tripod is here. I don't have a tripod. But that looks like it says Canadian Forces. And then something else. I think it says the same thing, just in another language. And there goes Canada. The logo. The wings. This model doesn't seem like it has a beacon light. There goes your engines. See a little bit of detail right there. Uh, don't see a registration. And uh, there goes the tail. Horizontal stabilizers. And turn the model. Uh, 
Wow, AJ Tens look pretty weird from the back. <laughs> look at that. But I mean, they got it. They got it pretty accurate. I like it. Yeah, but you see the APU right there. Now to the other side. Pretty much have the same thing. Have your Huffit Windows logo. But the only slight difference is this. And you have like that right there, which wasn't on the which wasn't on the other side, I don't think. Then you have your like first underbelly cargo door engine. Emergency escape door. Oops. And the wings are plastic on this model. Just to let y'all know they have like a few dragon wings, like they use plastic for a lot of their models. Like the fuselage would be metal and then like some uh, most of the other stuff is plastic. Just to let collectors that don't know how they like do their models, that's how they do it. But right here is another cargo door. And then right there is another small cargo door. And you have your over the wing 003 right there. And the tail. Okay, now it's time to get to the model actually, you know, parked as cargo and then I'll do it parked as passenger. Okay, here goes the model. Uh in the cargo phase. They had uh they haven't the pilots aren't in the aircraft yet. So they have the stairs there and the crew, pilots and crew are about to get off that small bus and onto the aircraft. You have the cargo truck loading up the cargo to that door. The tug about to push it back and the fire truck. I mean, not fire truck, fuel truck giving it its fuel. So now I'm going to show it like passenger wise because it goes for both. Okay, here's the model and the commercial version. Passengers are loading up. Technically, the military passengers. Well, now that I think about it, if it's a military plane, then it won't really be in a jet bridge because they load up with the stairs anyway. But, you know, we'll just go with it. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, the military people or, you know, if they have a special event where they let passengers uh, take a ride on this plane, they'll be like getting on through the jet bridge and you have the fuel truck and the catering loading the plane up with food. Okay, the, the features... Or the dragon wings have is you are able to you're able to take off the landing gear and put the landing gear back on. So I really like that feature, and that's what I'm gonna. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, guys. And that's what I'm gonna show y'all next. So let's get to it. Okay, there is the model. As you can see, the landing gear is right there. Uh, if you're probably new to Dragon Wings, like I was at first, I didn't know how to take them off. Uh, I read the instructions, but I didn't really get it at first. But technically, the easiest way is I took the stand and stuck it inside this, uh, the stand hole. And, like, kind of, like, gave it a tug in the middle piece. This piece right here, which goes in the middle came off and the landing gear was under that so you just like give the landing gear a little pull and that'll come off and then all you have to do with the main gear I mean with the nose gear is just pull it and then it'll come off and you have this 
So, you probably know what this is leading up to. Showing it in flight mode. <laughs> Let's get to it. Oh, yeah, guys. And before I do that, I forgot. You put this back on. <laughs> Duh. You put this piece back on. So, it's just like the regular model. Now, there you go. Voila. So, now let's get to the flight mode part. Well, I mean, you learn something new every day. I just discovered that. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, this is a fail. Well, the. One of the engines just fell off. Huh. Yeah. But it's nothing that a little super glue won't be able to fix. But still. Anyway. This uh, stand hole is not able to fit through the Gemini Jet stand hole. Because as you can see. For the focus. It's kind of like a ovalish shape, and everybody knows the Gemini just uh, stand in uh, in stand part is circular that goes to the model. So yeah, can't put it in flight mode. <sighs> well, it looks like I got some fixing to do. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe, and Gemini Bros out.